you may have some pages in your application that should only be available to authenticated users. Otherwise, you either redirect them to the login page or simply show them an error. Let's see how Tanstack Router can make this happen. This is chapter 4 of this series. Let's get started. Back to our example, let's see I want to navigate to the profile page only after logging in. So first of all, let's create a login route here with some code already written, which basically is a simple login text. If the user is authenticated, hello user and a sign in button. If the user is not authenticated, we have a sign in button. Pretty easy, right? I can add the link here to the login page. So login, you see as usual, it's type safe, login here, and there you have it. I click login and I can sign in, hello user, and I can sign out. It is working, but there's not yet the control on the profile page, so let's make this happen. In the second video, we saw how you can basically define a loader here in the root to do something before the page loads, but you can do something before the loader, and we can see it in the profile component. Here we can say, before load and this is exactly the place where we're gonna put our authentication guard and it is as easy as using an if statement we can use the is authenticated function we have in our other file and if the user is not authenticated we can throw not an error but the redirect object that comes from Tanstack router obviously and we can specify that we want our user to be redirected exactly to the login page. Just to have a bit of context, this is authenticated function is as easy as it can be just for demo purposes. So this basically returns a boolean and if the user is not authenticated, it will be redirected to the login page. Let's see if it works. Now here you can see that I'm not logged in. So if I click profile, it seems that nothing happens and simply because the URL doesn't change. But if I go on home and now I click on profile, you see that I don't even load the profile page, but I'm immediately redirected to the login page. And this is exactly what this function is doing. Now, if you're using React, most likely you don't have a simple is authenticated function, but you have something that comes from a hook. Let's say there's an use auth hook, but there's a problem here. And it is that we're trying to call a React hook inside the function before load that it is not a valid React placement for a hook. But that's not a big problem because Tanstack Router helps you do that and let me show you. The idea here is that you can indeed use your hook here in the app component, like use hook this way. Here I can get the out object obviously, which has sign in, sign out and a function is locked. Now, how can you tell router provider to also get the values coming from this hook? Well, let's go back to our root first, because here we have to define a new type that is our router context, which would be basically the context we will be able to pass here. And here we also specified an object called authentication, which has this type, which is basically the return type of our simple hook. Again, it's just for demo purposes, but this is a hook which lets you sign in, sign out, and know if the user is logged in. Now, where should we put this router context? Well, we have to replace this create root root with context, as the name suggests, and we should pass router context here as generic, and also add a couple of parentheses here to make this work. I can organize imports, and now, if you notice, there's an error on app.tsx, which is here on root tree. Now we say that our router needs a context and as usual TypeScript is our friend. We see that among these optional properties, there's one context which is required. And the recommended way to pass it at first, it's maybe not ideal, but also our documentation suggests to begin with this tricky syntax undefined with an exclamation mark to temporarily tell TypeScript Nah, it's, it's not undefined, don't worry. And now obviously it's time to use this object we have here and here we have context and we can pass an object which is expecting something called authentication that is our auth here. 
If we want to make it even easier, I can just rename this one and there you have it. And now the last error we have to fix is again on profile. This was our current situation because we couldn't call this hook here inside this function. But now if we go back here, you see that we have context. And can you guess what context contains? Sure you can. You can find our authentication object we passed just here. So going back to our object, I can now take the isLock function from here. I don't need sign in and sign out for now. So isLock, I can replace this one. And well, in short, I'm no longer using this simple function I created here, but now I'm in fact using the hook, defined in the hook folder, and I'm using is function to basically redirect our user. So let's see if it's still working. If I go back on the page, again, I go on the home, I can go on search. If I go on profile, I get redirect on login. And if I log in, I can now open profile. But now let's say I don't want to specify this function on each single route that I want to be protected. And in some cases, you'll find yourself creating a folder called authenticated. And here, for example, a dashboard.ts6, another file called settings.ts6. Now I have a couple new files. You see, I generate them by just pressing Ctrl S because we have our plugin running. If you remember from the first video, we set up this one here in bitconfig. And anyway, now I want that these two routes are only accessible if the user is authenticated. And the trick is basically to create a file here called with the same name of the folder and here use the same function we had on the profile page. Let me add the links so I can navigate easily to those pages. Now I'm logged out and if I go on dashboard, I go on login. If I go on settings, I go on login. If I log in, I can now access those two pages. Looks like it's working, but I don't like my roots to be behind this authenticated path every time. I want to just navigate to dashboard and, well, see my dashboard. How can I do that with TenStackRooter? Well, it's easier than you might think. Here, there's a wildcard that is the underscore, and each root having an underscore before the name will basically not be rendered in the URL. So here, if I rename these two and I save, you can already see that there are now two errors in the root.ts6. And what happened? Is this because of the rename? Well, in short, renaming lets us basically remove this authenticated path here. And in fact, the error is that slash authenticated slash dashboard does not exist. Because now we can simply call them dashboard and settings. And even if it's under the folder authenticated, there's an underscore. So now if I go back here and I try to go on dashboard and settings, you see the URL is as simple as slash dashboard and slash settings. Isn't that a cool feature? With a simple underscore on the folder, you can easily hide that part of the path and also organize your files and your roots in a dedicated folder but there's actually more you can do to organize and control your roots. And this is exactly the topic of the next video of this series. Subscribe to the channel to see in your homepage when the next video will be out, which I suppose will be next week. And also please leave a like if you want to support the channel. With that said, I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.